Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What is up everybody? I'm Joey, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to come to you guys and say thank you for all of my subscribers. Thank you for all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers as well. I finally, finally reached uh, 1,000 uh, subscribers. Um, I'm not into playing the, the numbers game, so that really isn't important. What's most important to me is that my messages and the readings are getting out to the people who actually need them and helping them heal and evolve on their spiritual journey also giving them positive motivation as well i thank you guys so so much and in celebration of me reaching that mark to show my gratitude to everybody i want to give you guys some giveaways so i don't think long and hard is like what can i do okay what can i do to do a little quick giveaway to everybody, show them my appreciation. So, I came up with letters from your soulmate. All right, so yeah, letters from your soulmate. You get a letter, you get a letter, you get a letter, you get a letter, and you get a letter. You all get letters. <laughs> okay, seriously, I decided to give 10 lucky winners letters from your soulmate mailed to you, like actual letters, right? Actual letters from your soulmate mailed out to you, mailed out to your home address or to your P.O. box, whatever you prefer, okay? And also, later on, I'm gonna be giving away some free personal readings as well, and also throwing some other stuff, you know, here and there, okay? So just, you guys, just, for me showing my appreciation, just stay tuned to the channel and stay on the lookout, because you'll never know when I sneak something in, okay? Like I said, you guys, I wanna show you guys my appreciation, and this giveaway is for subscribers only. So if you're not subscribed, yeah, so to get this thing kicked off, the first 10 people who are interested in getting letters from your soulmate mailed to you, please send me an email over at joeyaloha808 at outlook.com and let me know that you're interested. I'll be picking the first 10 people, okay? Well, who is this? <laughs> I'll be picking the first 10 lucky people who view this message and you're interested, shoot me an email. If you're not one of the 10 lucky winners, I'll be give, doing another giveaway like this, probably towards the end of the month or beginning of next month, okay? So just definitely stay tuned. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. You guys are all the best. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to making more readings and connecting with you guys on a regular basis. And I'm gonna try to go live maybe once in a while and do some uh, like some free mini readings with people, you know? Yeah, as soon as I get that set up, I'll, I'll let you guys know. If you guys are interested, if you think that's a good idea, if you're interested in that, just let me know, okay? All right, you guys, stay tuned. Good luck, ciao. What is up everybody? I am Joey and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another letters from your soulmate reading, okay? First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank all the subscribers for tuning in as well. Um, I want to thank all the new subscribers as well as the old subscribers as well, okay? And also, I hope you guys heard the announcement in the intro. If you haven't, you might want to go back and check it out, okay? Um, today, we're going to be having three piles. One, the bell. Two, the palm tree. Three, the sun, okay? So we have la campana, la palma, y el sol. Okay, so one, two, three. You guys can pause the video whenever you'd like uh, to select and marinate on the images that you see here and see which one resonates with you, and then we'll go from there, okay? Uh, we will go ahead and start off with uh, pile number one, okay? Aloha, everybody. I'm so happy to announce that I'm now offering the Letters from Your Soulmate deck. This is a 54-card deck with an accompanying PDF booklet. 
And most importantly, shipping is available worldwide. Yeah, that's right. You can get this deck anywhere in the world. Okay, so if you guys are interested in this deck, you can just click the link in the description. And once you've received your deck, just email me with the confirmation to receive the PDF booklet via email. With the booklet, you can either read the letters directly from the PDF, or you can print the letters out and put them into envelopes like I do in the videos. I'm so happy to bring you guys the letters from your soulmate deck. And also check out my shop for the other cards that I use in my pick a card videos. Much love to you all. Your soulmate's waiting. Ciao. All right, you guys, if you selected pile number one, the bell, this is going to be your reading. I've also lit this uh, candle for this reading and let the flame from this candle symbolize the eternal flame between you and your next love soulmate that is always present. And let it be a beacon of hope to bridge any gaps between you two. Okay. The card that I pulled for you today is hard work, which is number 15. All right, and this is your letter, and I've also pre-shuffled some cards for you as well. And we're going to, if you're not familiar with these readings, we're going to read the letter, see what message your next love soulmate has for you. And then also we'll be reading uh, some messages to see what you can do um, to bridge any gaps between you guys, to so, you know, bring you guys into, into union. And also, we will be finding out some little characteristics about your next love soulmate as well. First, before we begin, let's go ahead and clear the energy out. All right, like I said, your reading is gonna be called Hard Work, okay? And we'll go ahead and read your letter, see what your soulmate has to say. All right, your letter says Hard Work. To my soulmate, I like to think of myself as a very hard worker. I see each task I take on as an opportunity to be the best and be the best that I can be. I focus on quality and not quantity. I may not be rich or drive a fancy car or wear fancy clothes, but I take pride in the work I do. I also take pride in working hard for our love and connection together. That's what's most important to me in life. I dedicate myself to be the best version of myself for you. To right any wrongs, clear up any misunderstandings, communicate clearly, and show you my love so that our love will always stand the test of time. I promise to fight forever for our love and to not stop searching for you until we're together again. I promise to provide you with all the love and security you need and require. It's my job to love, honor, and protect you. I work so hard because my payment is you. Being with you, growing with you, and living out the rest of my life with you. Thank you so much for being my soulmate. Hope to see you soon. Love, your soulmate. Okay, that was your letter. Okay, so now let's see what we got going on here as well. Okay, so we have Gift the Giver. We have cold hearted, protector, determination, energy, know it all. This could be the one, new love. Let's see, we got a lot of cards going on here. A lot of messages. All right. We got elephant spirit. Break the chain, birthing a new age, and trust your path. All right, so 
first and foremost from the urban archetypes that we have that your person the next soulmate love connection that is coming into your life is someone who is very giving this is someone who they like to they like to spend money on you they want to they want to actually uh, spoil you as much as they can you know and they like doing this is they're not doing this out of them trying to be superficial but it's because that's how they show you in ways that they love you they show their love for you by what they can provide for you because this person might not be able to might not be that good with cold hearted they might not be that good with expressing their emotions the way they want to express them you know um and it's most likely could have been due to uh, situations from the past, due to uh, heartache from the past, due to disappointment from the past. This person might find it hard to open themselves up, up in ways that really make them vulnerable emotionally, but they know that they have this issue. They know that they might have this issue, right? So they kind of like compensate for that the lack in that area they compensated with gift giving right this person is very very this is someone even though they might not readily be able to to show uh their love in those types of ways or show a lot of emotion this person is someone who is a protector they want to protect you they want to provide for you this is a provider a protector they want to make you happy they want to make sure that you're secure But the only thing, like I said, is they, they may have some issues with opening up their heart completely. But working with that little handicap, they still like do other things that will give you hints and show you that they love you and they care for you. Now, let's see what blocks we have coming up for you here. We have determination, energy, and know-it-all. Okay, so at this point in time, you might feel like giving up, right? You might not have any more energy. You might not, you might feel like you're exhausted. You're just like, hey, if it hasn't happened yet, is it really going to happen? You might feel, and you might feel in your heart, in your mind, you might feel that there's really nothing else that you could do. There's nothing else that could be done. It's like kind of like, I get that feeling of lost hope, right? Of, of you feeling, you might be feeling that this is never gonna happen, so I give up. This is like, I don't have the determination, you know? Uh, my energy is low. I'm just over it. I've exhausted a lot of energy in this situation or trying to make it happen. I'm just tired. Like, I know that it's not gonna work out and I feel that deep down inside and I'm not even gonna bother anymore because I'm just tired. But you have to not give up. You have to stay determined. You know, just like you see this card right here, right? If I can take the glare off and you see if you keep moving forward that is where everything lightens up and that is where where the Sun comes in you just have some more a little ways to go so this tells me in this situation you have some ways to go but it's not that far you know what I'm saying it's not to me it doesn't seem that far but you have a little a little just a little ways to go you just have to just Get, a, get across the stretch and then get to the sun, right? So if you really want this to happen, if you want it to happen, deep down inside, regardless of how you feel, uh, you might feel exhausted, like I said. If you truly want it to happen, keep going. Don't stop. Even though I might be boring, even though I might not have shown you any um, this path that you've been on with this, uh, you know, trying to connect with your next love soulmate might not have been fruitful, 
might not have nothing has come to fruition you might not have seen any signs of anything you know happening you have to keep going because it's just around the bend it's all about your energy and the energy you put into the situation negative energy is going to you know further make the gap wider between you and that person right positive energy determination and keep uh, forward movements and keeping the faith and keep believing and wanting this truly wanting this is going to close the gap between you and that person right i know for some people in the past you've you already been through situations like this before maybe with other love soulmates but like in the past you might be used to things working out a certain way but this in this time it is saying that throw all of that the old stuff and the, the way that things happened in the past throw all of that stuff away throw it all away and allow yourself to remain open and free to new possibilities to new changes to new energy to new uh just a new experiencing a whole different reality in a way that things will go or that things are going to go if you allow it to go that way. Don't judge this situation or your life right now based off of past experiences. And this is something that you and your next love soul may share in common, you know, with this cold hearted thing with them. They may have allowed um, past circumstances to block them internally or block them emotionally and cause them to like close up and, and, and guard themselves and protect their heart, right? But that's something that you both need to, yeah, you guys are mirroring each other with that. You both need to work on letting the past go, forgiving the past, forgiving anybody involved in any past uh, hurts, disappointments, pain, anything like that. Uh, forgiving the people, forgiving yourself for the part that you may have played in it, forgive them for what they've done and letting it go. Let it go and, and, and know that today is a different day. Tomorrow is going to be another day, a different day. You know, What's hap what happened in the past is not the discount what happened in the past. I'm just saying, don't let your past have power, so much power and effect on what's going on today because the past has already happened. The past is no, no, no longer here. What's happened in the past has already happened. The focus needs to be on what's happening now, today, and then you move on to the next day. You focus on what's happening at that time. If you're not currently in, if you're not currently being, uh, somebody's physically doing something to you now let it go from the past let it go if somebody is doing something from you to you uh yeah get get away from them if you can but yeah let the past go because this could be the one and it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek so you might already know this person right and this is a, a new person so this is not someone who you've been in a relationship with But it might be someone that you've seen before, you know. Not necessarily, it, for some people, it might not be someone who you've actually met, but you could have seen them before, like in passing. Or you could have spoken, like hi, bye type of thing, but yeah, I don't think it's like you guys have a, 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 like a friendship or anything yet. So this is all new, fresh and new. Right. But that person is already here. So definitely do the work that you need to do to bring you guys together. You got to trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? This is not giving up. This is you lighting that flame. Like I said, with the candle, lighting that flame once again. Even though it may have been extinguished, you put it out. You're like, oh, I can't do this. Put it out. It's time for you to light the path. It's time for you to light your flame. 
and revisit that dream you had for your soul, love soulmate, for a love soulmate, right? For what you can experience in a relationship or what you would like to experience in a relationship. It's time for you to reignite those passions that were inside of you before that you may have extinguished or you put out and you just like, you know, took yourself away from you. You're like, oh, it's not gonna happen. So I'm not even gonna worry about that. This is time for you to, to, to you know, get them back going, get them back going, light that flame once again. Let yourself, let your mind uh, visualize, you know, how you'd like your relationship to go and be without any effects of the past. Don't let the past play a part in what you visualize for your your love relationships from now on and going forward. Put the past away, deal with it, come to terms with it, and move it out of the way because it's not really, you don't need it where you're going. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being, like what we were just talking, I was just talking about, like, think about things how you want things to be without, like, without any limitations, without any past hurts, you know, without focusing on any of that stuff. Allow yourself to open back up. Allow yourself to open up and allow those flames to ignite again and you to dream and you to, to feel how it would be in your ideal uh, situation and relationship, you know? Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Okay, so break the chains from the past. It could even be like ancestral, ancestral patterns. Like maybe uh, there could be ancestral patterns of like uh, trauma from your past. You know what I'm saying? That you hold on to and you take that through, all, through throughout your life. And you're living your life as a wounded warrior or the victim. It's time for you to come out of that those roles because they're outdated, you know? Rewrite history for yourself. Rewrite the future for yourself. You don't have to walk in the steps of someone from the past, you, including your past self. You don't have to continue walking in those same shoes. Those shoes are old, those shoes are worn out, they got holes in them, they're raggedy. You know what I'm saying? You've probably been walking in the mud and all that stuff, coming through water and God knows what else, and they probably don't smell that good. It's time for you to take those shoes off and put on a new pair of shoes and walk, keep walking forward. Keep walking forward in a new pair of popping shoes, whatever kind of shoes you like, you know? Put on the new pair of shoes and walk forward. Walk forward to your new life. You got elephant spirit, learn from the past. Learn from the past, but don't let the past uh, dictate your future. Learn from the past so that you don't make the same mistakes. Don't blame anybody in the present for what happened in the past. Forgive yourself from the past, like I said before. Learn the lessons that you need to learn so that you can move on, so that you do not have to keep repeating past lessons. Learn from the past so that you can move on to something better for yourself, to new experiences with a new, uh, new type of person. It's time for you to move forward, okay? If you're willing to put in that work, you will bridge the gap between you and your person. But it's all up to you. You have a choice right now in this instant when you're watching this video. Whenever you're watching the video, you have a choice to make right now. Whether or not you will continue to allow the past to rule over your life now or if you're willing to conquer the past and let it go and step forward into your new life with your new pair of shoes, with your new attitude, with your new viewpoints that are more open and, and, and more vulnerable and willing to receive love now. Again, because you know that there's love always. Love is infinite. Love is abundant. Love is always out there. And there's always love for you to receive if you allow yourself to receive it, okay? So that was your reading. If you liked the video, if it resonated, let me know. Like the video, <laughs> like the video. 
Yeah, like, yeah, click like. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, if you like it, right? Uh, let me know how you feel about it. If you feel inclined to share, uh, subscribe to the, to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, if you have any suggestions, let me know as well, okay? I wish you all the best on your next soulmate love connection, okay? Ciao. Take care. Aloha, everybody. I'm so happy to announce that I'm now offering the Letters from Your Soulmate deck. This is a 54 card deck with an accompanying PDF booklet. And most importantly, shipping is available worldwide. Yeah, that's right. You can get this deck anywhere in the world. Okay, so if you guys are interested in this deck, you can just click the link in the description. And once you've received your deck, just email me with the confirmation to receive the PDF booklet via email. With the booklet, you can either read the letters directly from the PDF, or you can print the letters out and put them into envelopes like I do in the videos. I'm so happy to bring you guys the letters from your soulmate deck. And also check out my shop for the other cards that I use in my pick a card videos. Much love to you all. Your soulmate's waiting. Ciao. What's up everybody? If you selected pile number two, La Palma, this is gonna be your reading. Uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and clear the energy out here. And I have this candle lit here to uh, symbolize the eternal flame between you and your next love soulmate that is always present, right? And let it be a beacon of hope to bridge any gaps that are in between you and your person, okay? Um, like I always say, you guys hold the key to manifest what you want to manifest in your life. It is all up to you as well and the work that you're willing to put into any situation that you're in, okay? Always know that. And your reading today is your my soulmate, okay? That is your reading. So let's see what uh, the letter says here. Okay, we have your my soulmate. Okay, it says, hello, my soulmate. I'm not sure how many times I can say this, but yes, you're my soulmate. I'm the one you've been waiting for. The one you dream about meeting. The one others try to imitate, but will never be able to duplicate. I'm sure that many have appeared in your life pretending to be me, but none of them can ever be me. I'm the one and only your soulmate. When we meet, you will know. I will be like a breath of fresh air that you've been waiting to inhale. I'll be that sigh of relief you've been itching to take. I'll be that happy ending you've been waiting for and that new beginning you've been needing. That's me. Here I am. Don't be fooled by imposters. Like I said before, Many will try to pretend they're me, but they can never be me. Look deep inside your heart, get grounded, connect to your higher power, and always ask yourself, is this my soulmate? Is this the one? If it is me, you will get the answers you need. This time, it will be the correct one. Hopefully, you won't have to wait long for me, the real me. Until then, use your intuition to weed out the fakes because they will come. I love you the most. Until I'm with you, your soulmate. Okay, that's your letter. And I also pre shuffle some cards. So let's see what we got. See what you can uh, see if we can get some characteristics about your, your next love soulmate and uh, what you could do to. Uh, to clear up any blocks that may, you may have. Okay, I was shocked too that you got the soulmate card, okay? So definitely that's your soulmate and it's most likely a high level soulmate as well. You got low key, peacekeeper, health nut, blonde guy, focused, Friends, self-love, 
forgiving and learning. Trust. Trust your path. And send Piper Spirit. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go over the Urban Archetypes card here to see. And we pull a lot of them came out, so I had to go with it, you know? Usually, I just try to pull like maybe three or four at the most. But for yours, seven came out, so I had to, I had to go with it. But yeah, like I said before, this is definitely a definite soulmate of yours. You guys have a strong connection. You guys have a very, very, very strong connection, probably stronger than the average soulmate type, but this is like a higher level soulmate. This person is gonna be a low key type of person. Like they're calm. They have a calm demeanor about themselves. Um, they're just chill, you know what I'm saying? They're chill. They're not like loud and out in everybody's faces. They just like, they don't like attention like that. They're just like calm and chill, right? They can be in a room and you might not even know that they're there. Not, not to say that they don't like talking. They do. This person is going to talk when they need to talk. You know what I'm saying? But they're not like, they're just, they're just chill. They're, they just got this chill, relaxing, calming vibe about themselves. They just like things to be peaceful. They like, they like, they like stuff to just be calm and serene and just like chilling and they like this whole like they like their atmosphere to be peaceful too they like people around them to be peaceful they like this is not the kind of person who's going to be like out fighting people and arguing you know what i'm saying it's kind of the person who will be like you know i'm gonna avoid this you know i can't protect myself or do what i gotta do but i'm just gonna avoid it because um i'm not even on that i'm more mature than that and i'm just gonna keep it moving and i like my I like my sanity and I don't want to be stressed out. So this, this is someone who they might like animals also. They might like animals or have respect for animals, uh, you know, Mother Earth, Mother Earth as well. And also they might like being around water as well. Lakes, oceans, hell, even pools, right? This is someone who's health conscious. They they watch what they eat, right? They watch what they eat. They like eating, you know, this is gonna be someone who's gonna eat a salad, you know? Cause I know some people don't like fruits and vegetables and salads and stuff like that, but this person is gonna be into that kind of stuff, you know? They're gonna be into eating healthy, eating clean because they, they care for their body, you know? They care for, they care for their body and their well being and their health. For some people, this is gonna be someone who is blonde, someone who, a blonde woman or blonde man. And it's gonna be someone who, um, for some people it might be someone who works in the corporate world, who works in office, who wears suits, who wear, dresses business casual or, you know, business-like. Someone who's like, it could also be someone who's preppy when they go to work, but when they get home, it's like the opposite. Like they're like more trendy in the, in the more trendy styles. You know what I'm saying? Like hoodies and and sweatpants and you know or, or sweat. You know, just they're they can like turn it on and off. They have like they act accordingly when they go to work. They dress like when they go to work, they're dressed for work. When they're at home, or you know, going out and stuff like that, they dress what's comfortable for them. And it could be like, you know, more trendier fashions. That's what they're into, you know? This is someone who is definitely, once they get their eyes on you, they're gonna be focused on you, right? They're not gonna be thinking about anybody else or entertaining anybody else. It's, they're just gonna be focused on you and um, obtaining you and this connection. You guys might actually be friends first before, you know, getting into a love type of relationship, right? So yeah, this is someone you could be friends with first and then you'll go into the love type of thing. And like I said, with these blonde cards also, keep in mind that 
the person might not be blonde, you know, it's not gonna apply because to every single person, but you could take some of the other traits too, like a person dresses up when they go to work, you know, and when they get out of work, they like to be more dressed in more relaxed type of clothes or whatever. But yeah, this is someone you're gonna be friends with, um, maybe like going out with or having fun together, stuff like that. And I think it's really, really good to uh, build a foundation of friendship first before anything else. So that way you have a stronger foundation. You know, you guys are friends first and then you move into being lovers, you know. The block that came out for you guys is self-love. So you want to make sure that you are loving yourself first. And when... When I view self-love, when I'm thinking about this right now, I'm getting messages of you loving yourself first before you can love somebody else. You're not rushing into things with anybody until you are secure, solid, and firm on the inside with self-love. Because with the firm level of self-love for yourself, you're gonna be able to make uh, better decisions as to who you let allow into your life, as a pace you move in relationships, right? Like when you uh, increase your self love, most likely you, I mean, no offense to anybody if you like moving fast in relationships, you know, that's, you know, you do what makes you happy at the end of the day, right? It's just my opinion. We all have opinions, okay? So with increased self-love you don't rush into situations you allow things to happen organically and slowly and so that you can actually get to know the person before you open yourself up uh, emotionally spiritually sexually to another person you allow yourself to get to know them first and then you you know you say okay yeah this is someone who i can you know i like kicking it with this person i like you know spending time with them i like all this you know i like them we're friends so now let's kick it up, you know, to the next level, you know. Self-love is going to put you in a place to where you know yourself. To where you truly know what makes you tick, what, what, you, what your likes are, what your dislikes are, what are deal breakers, um, what you want for yourself in the future, what kind of relationships are good for you, which ones are bad for you. You will, all that stuff will get clearer with a solid foundation of love first. And then when you're getting into relationships, building friendships first, and not jumping into bed or jumping into love straight on, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever it is, you know, just jumping into that first. No, it's like building things step by step by step by step to build, to have a solid foundation for yourself, you know, to have a strong foundation so that you can build something solid on I don't know, sometimes when we're in love and when we're infatuated with people, we want to we wanna secure that person. We want to uh, speed things up, but that's not always good to speed things up. You got to build, if you want, um, sometimes with some people, I, I know sometimes people will get together really fast and they stay together for years. Yeah, that happens, but it doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you got to like build solid foundations with people and that's the type of thing that needs to be built with your next love soulmate connection uh, solid foundation okay so we got trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do allow yourself to be vulnerable in the way that you allow your mind to uh, be limitless right limitless when it comes to what you can the type of love relationship that you can manifest in your life limitless in that way see exactly what it is that you want how you would like to have it like in a healthy way this is after you've you know you built that self-love and you respect yourself and you and you demand that same respect and love from other people as well right just think about it when we're in relationships we demand certain things from other people what we say oh well we te teach them how to um to treat us right we teach them how to treat us and we have certain things that we don't accept, certain things that we will accept like that, right? So whatever it is that you have for this person, make sure that you have it for yourself as well. 
So if you want them to love you, you gotta love yourself first. So if you want them to respect you, you have to respect yourself first. If you want them to be considerate of you and compassionate towards you, you have to be considerate and compassionate towards yourself first, you know? We got Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. Allow yourself to, to have fun. Like don't take things so serious when you're, when you're in, um, when you're developing this new relationship, right? Don't take things so serious at first, you know, cause that goes back to what I'm saying. It's like build a friendship first. When you're friends, you're not like, oh, well, since you're my friend, you gotta follow these, this is the list. You gotta, okay, you gotta, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta, no, no, no. You just allow yourself to build a friendship with somebody organically and you allow things to just happen. And you allow yourself to be open and free and fun, you know? And just allow uh, things to organically build. And that's what this is saying. Be playful, allow things to organically build. Don't be so serious about, well, yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you got to, you can't talk to anybody else. You can't do this, da da da, da. You know, none of that. We're gonna let in the energy be uh, friendly, playful, so that you can build something solid and you can build a friendship first with this person. You got trust, again, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah, we gotta trust your path and trust here. So yeah, you gotta trust that things are working out. Things will work out. Things, by moving at that slow pace, I know sometimes that it can be kind of scary, right? If you're used to moving uh, in a faster pace and locking things down, it could be kind of scary to let the reins go and just uh, pull back and allow things to move at a slower pace because a lot of things could be going through your mind at that time. If you allow things to go in a slower pace, a lot of things could be passing through your mind. Like, oh, if I don't hurry up and secure and lock down this person, somebody else is going to lock them down, you know? You have to trust and believe in healthy, positive relationships that the person who you want wants you to, right? You can't. You have to release all types of control. All, any type, any kind of control that you might have, you have to release it. Because you can't, only person that you can, can control in your life is yourself, right? You can't force anybody to do anything that they don't wanna do. And even and if, in the event that you do force somebody to do something that they don't wanna do, it's probably not gonna work out well anyways, cause they're gonna revert back to them, to what they wanna do after a while, you know what I'm saying? So allow things to just flow naturally. Allow the person to develop whatever feelings and that they, that they need to develop, when they need to develop them, you know? When it's time for them to develop. Allow them to move at their own pace and you just slow it down a little bit and allow things to just organically happen and build, work on building a friendship, you know? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Forgive people from the past. Forgive uh, people who might have hurt you from the past. Forgive people who may have disappointed you from the past. It's time for you to learn the lessons. Learn, uh, learn those lessons, right? Learn uh, if you played a part in what happened in the past, learn from that. If, if uh, let's say if someone disappointed you in the past and maybe in the earlier stages in the relationship or friendship or whatever it was, you've gotten like clues and hints that, that showed you that this person was not to, be, not to be trusted or that they would harm you or that they would disappoint you. It's time for you to learn from that so that you'll know what patterns not to repeat so that you'll be able to take it slower and you'll be able to trust the signs when you see the signs, trust red flags when you see red flags. When I say trust the signs and red flags from them and also from yourself also, because we can also self-sabotage situations by being too demanding, by being too forceful, by trying to, you know, be too assertive, you know, or trying to force our will on other people, stuff like that, you know? Learn from whatever happened in the past so that you do not repeat those same mistakes so that you don't have to re repeat the same lessons over and over again. Be true to yourself, be true to who you are. Stand firm in who you are, yes, but 
make sure that you're that you take the other person's feelings and free will into consideration as well okay that was your reading if you liked it if it resonated like the video and let me know if you want to share your comments as well i love reading those um if you have any suggestions let me know as well and if you'd like to see more videos like this if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to your boy okay all right so i uh, hope you guys wish you guys all the best on your next soulmate love relationship and thank you so much for being here and i really really appreciate it ciao aloha everybody i'm so happy to announce that i'm now offering the letters from your soulmate deck this is a 54 card deck with an accompanying PDF booklet. And most importantly, shipping is available worldwide. Yeah, that's right. You can get this deck anywhere in the world. Okay, so if you guys are interested in this deck, you can just click the link in the description. And once you've received your deck, just email me with the confirmation to receive the PDF booklet via email. With the booklet, you can either read the letters directly from the PDF or you can print the letters out and put them into envelopes like I do in the videos. I'm so happy to bring you guys the letters from your soulmate deck. And also check out my shop for the other cards that I use in my pick a card videos. Much love to you all. Your soulmate's waiting. Ciao. What is up, everybody? You selected pile number three of Sol. This is going to be your reading. Um, also, you guys know that you hold the key to manifest what you want to manifest in your life, okay? You hold the key. You, all right? So always remember that. Before we get started, let's go ahead and clear the energy out from the previous readings. All right, so your reading today it's going to be on hard to say I'm sorry. Okay, and that's going to be your reading for today. So let's see what this your letter says. All right, hard to say I'm sorry. Hello, my beautiful love. I want you to know that I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. I've had issues in the past with forgiveness and apologizing. That's for things I've done to others or myself and for things others have done to me. Sometimes I can really hold a grudge, but I'm working on that. I don't want to allow my anger to stop me from growing and evolving. That makes me feel that if I can't get over this, I may be kept from you. So I'm trying my hardest to do the inner work I need to do to overcome this mindset. I really don't want to bring this type of baggage into your life. I know they say we mirror each other. So if you're going through something similar, I ask that you work on forgiveness and apologizing as well. That way we can both be ready to start with a clean slate when we finally meet. The time is now. I hope that you agree that I'm worthy of you making the effort because you are worthy of me doing that and then some. Let's get this done together so that we can finally be and stay together. Are you with me? I love you so much, your soulmate. Okay, that was your letter. All right, so let's see. Check some characteristics of your person. We got fair tone man. Like I always say in these videos, these will not, the specific cards will not specify or not resonate with everybody, okay? Focused, twin flame, poppy chulo, faith, pessimism, playfulness, let your friends help you and break the chain. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go over the um, the identifier, the identifiers right here on the top row. We got fair tone man. Like I said before, it's not going to resonate with everybody. So 
It could be a fair tone man, you could be a fair tone man, or it could be a fair tone woman, you could be a fair tone woman, or it might not even apply, okay? Or it might be someone that's lighter skin tone than you as well, okay? It could be someone who is, who likes to, you know, to dress up, dress professional. They like to, you know, wear business casual clothes, suit, tie, stuff like that. They may do that for work. All right, this is gonna be someone who is very, when they meet you, they're gonna be focused on you. Like, there's no, um, there's no way they're gonna be able to, to control it, you know, because the, the energy between you guys are gonna be so strong that they're just gonna be focused on you. They can't like even, they can't help it and they can't stop like from being drawn and guided in to you, okay? And this is gonna be someone who, once they have their eyes set on you, you're gonna be in the, on their mind, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's no denying this connection for them, right? They're not gonna, even if they wanted to, they're not gonna be able to turn off this energy. They're not gonna be able to turn off these vibes, these feelings, these emotions that, that are ignited when they come in, around you or when they see you. There's no way to stop it. It's just something that can't be controlled and they're gonna be, that's gonna cause them to focus on you, right? So you got twin flame. So this says that this is a high level soulmate. I know many people have different terms for a twin flame, but for me, twin flame is someone that you have a soul connection to, right? So if you have a soul connection to someone, that is also a soul mate. It's a different type of soul mate. It's a higher level soul mate. But I digress, if you, believe in something else and you know go with that it's all you know it's your world right but yeah this person is a twin flame from you so that is probably why that you, they're going to be very very focused on you and they can't control it or stop it because you guys are twin flames right the connection is so going to be so strong and powerful between you guys that you're not going to be able to deny it they're not going to be able to overlook it you're not going to be able to push it out of your mind once that person is out of your sight you're still going to be thinking about them you may even be dreaming about them you may you just maybe daydreaming about them also night dreaming when you're sleeping you know you're going to be thinking about this person this is a strong soulmate type connection with the twin flame here this person is also a poppy chulo now if you don't know what a poppy chulo is poppy chulo is going to be someone who is attractive right so um, being that it's a general reading, I'm going to flip it so that it could be uh, applied to both sexes, you know? So this is someone who is attractive, who people find attractive, right? This is someone who's charming. Uh, they get a lot of attention from people. A, a lot of people recognize that this person is handsome or this person is beautiful, you know? This person is attractive. And they get a lot of attention that way. They might get a lot of, um, a lot of suitors. Uh, this person uh, attracts a lot of people to them, you know, a lot of people want to get to want to get with them, you know, because they're they're this poppy chulo type swag that they got going on, you know. Um, it's just someone who, you know, also could be someone who they take they take care of themselves. They take care of the way that they look, you know, they're well groomed, um, not in a not in an over exaggerated type of way but in a way that they care about their appearance, right? They care about being clean. They care about their presentation, you know? That's just who they are, you know? You like it, you like it. You don't, you don't, you know? But, okay, let's go on to the blocks. The blocks that we have here are faith and pessimism. So, you're definitely gonna have to work on being more positive. Being more positive about your next soulmate love connection, or in this case, your next twin flame love connection, you know, your twin flame love connection, you know, they're going to have to work on being positive, thinking positive about it, right? Thinking and knowing that like, don't, whatever negative thoughts that you may have about this type of connection, put it out of your mind, have faith in this connection, have faith that it can happen and have faith that you can get through any obstacles because a lot of obstacles usually come with twin flame connections. Have faith that you can get through those obstacles, right? Because your person is saying that, yeah, they have obstacles with baggage, baggage and forgiving people and they're gonna try to work on those too. So if you have similar obstacles like that, make sure that you're working on that as well. 
pessimism about uh, not seeing the brighter side of things, you know, not having hope in the future, not having, not, just, just being like a Debbie Downer type figure. Don't, make sure that you're not, you work on that, right? Because life is not all gloom and doom. Life is not all full of downs. There's ups in life too. There's balance in life, right? Everything is, everything is not dark. Everything is not light. There's a, there's combinations of both and also combinations of things that are in between as well. You got light, you got dark, and then you got things in between. You know what I'm saying? So it's not only going to be one way over the other, you know? There's many different ways that you can see things. So I challenge you, if you are feeling pessimistic about these types of connections or just in life in general, I challenge you to take at least a week and go on a negativity diet. Don't watch anything negative. Don't gossip about anything negative. Don't talk about negative things. Find things that are positive and uplifting. Find things that are happy that you that make you happy. Find things, focus on the things that you would want to come to uh, fruition. Focus on positive things that you want to happen. Focus on the good things that could happen in your life. Focus on the good that is already in your life. Focus on the things that you have to be grateful for and thankful for, you know? Go on that negativity diet for like a week. Listen to positive music if you listen to music. Don't listen to no sad songs, no hard rock, grunge, heavy metal, like deep, dark stuff, you know? Listen to the light stuff. Listen to Eric. So, hey, if you need to watch like Disney cartoons and they make you happy, watch Disney cartoons. Do something that to break away from gloom and doom, you know? Break away from that. Bring the light back in. Bring the sunshine in. Let the sunshine in, you know? Have faith. Believe again. Believe that goodness happens to you. Believe that good things happen to you. Playfulness. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, yeah, be playful. More playful in, this, in, in, in life. Allow yourself to take things more lightly, you know, don't take things so seriously. Don't take things, don't take, don't make everything out to be so serious, dark and gloomy. Lighten up. Chill out, you know, calm down and be happy. Smile more, you know, be free. Allow yourself to stop thinking, like I said, for a week. Allow yourself to not worry about the things that you find yourself worrying about worrying about. Allow yourself to not complain about the things that you find yourself complaining about. Be playful. Do happy things. Have play dates with people, you know? Go out and enjoy yourself. Do something fun for a change. If you haven't been doing uh, things that are fun, let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Go out with friends. Ask for help and accept support from others. Go out with friends. Go walking. Go to the beach. Go do something fun go to an arcade go to uh, bowling go to you know go out and have fun somewhere do something do something fun allow yourself to experience what it feels like to be happy so you can get on that get on that frequency forgive the past whatever is whatever has made you become pessimistic or, or, or have a darker, what is it, darker mindset or a view of things, allow yourself to heal from the past. Whatever has made you become that way, whatever events happened in the past that built up to this moment, allow yourself to heal from that, allow yourself to forgive and push it behind so that you can move forward happier, lighter. Let the sun shine in so that you can attract happier and healthier situations for yourself. You got break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So if it's some ancestral patterns that you need to break or, you know, like let's say like if your parents were pessimistic, so they taught you to be that way. Or if your parents uh, were constantly in failed relationships, so they, they taught you that that was normal, 
you know, to just always fail in relationships, you know. Allow yourself to break chains from the past. If, it, if, it's, if it's ancestral or if it's not, or if it's just your past. Rewrite your future. It's time for you to break that cycle, break that pattern from the way things have been going. You need some new fresh energy in this situation. You can't keep going on the way that you're going on about things or viewing things or seeing things or feeling about things or experiencing things or reacting to things. You, you can't go, you have to, it's time for a reboot, a reset. You need to install a new program. You might need to throw that old laptop out, you know, and I'm talking about like your mindset, you might need to throw that out and get a brand new one from 2020, you know, with updated uh, software on it so that you can see things clearer and just allow yourself to view things differently, right? And if you have friends who are on those uh, wavelengths and on those frequencies, on those levels to where they're happy and they're, they don't let stuff just get to them and consume them and they have a happier outlook, allow yourself to learn from them. Let them give you advice as well. Let them show you the way to a brighter mindset, you know, brighter future. Let them show you the way because energy needs to be changed here. If you keep going the way you're going, it's you're just gonna make the gap between you and this person bigger and bigger and bigger. If you want this gap to close in and you guys to come into union, change the energy. It's time to change it. Because that is a way that you're gonna, you know, bring you guys into union. That person is working, so you need to work. Can't be one doing and the other one not. It's not gonna work like that. Both of you guys, you initiate your part and it's gonna ignite something in them and it's gonna initiate them to, to heal as well, right? But make sure that you're doing your part. All right, that's your reading. If you like it, if it resonated, let me know, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you have any suggestions, let me know as well. And I truly wish you guys all the best on your next soulmate love relationship. Okay. Take care. Ciao.